morning guys it's jeff with hks systems lock and safe hope you're doing well today today we're up against one of my favorites the old-fashioned gun safe um customer had it um up and running working for the last couple years uh batteries died went and changed his battery now all of a sudden he's got a lockout situation the code enters but doesn't work anymore so that's what we're up against um what we're going to do, first of all, is always change the batteries. Second of all, uh, he has the NL series, which is some Chinese series. Not very well made, in my opinion. Um, I think the NL stands for not likely to work. But that's just my opinion. So, on that safe, uh, the problem is we're doing the uh, research to find out exactly what's behind the door. Problem is, there's three different choices. First choice is going to be a full-size deadbolt, which is very rare, not very common. Second choice is going to be the Chinese called the Mini Mighty Mini, very small. And then the third choice is going to be that guy, which I'm guessing is going to be the case. Uh, that's the good news is we have to be able to figure it out first what's behind the door. Um, behind the door is what's this going to entail of what we're going to do to get in. Um, the other problem is that these are not mounted right behind the spindle hole, which the cable goes through. Cables all look the same on all three models, so you have to stick a scope in there to see exactly what model you're up against. Um, the other thing is they're not right behind the hole, so they're remotely mounted, which means that typically on most quality safes, right when you go through the spindle hole, that lock is on the other side. Um, but these are mounted in different areas. So you have to do a little research. You have to figure out where it's mounted. And uh, in order to drill it open, which if we can't get it open electronically, we will have to drill it open. Uh, but we're going to use the Phoenix system. Um, see if that'll give us any information. It could just be bad keypads, which he got a new keypad. But uh, this company changes their programming software all the time. Firmware, I guess it'd be considered. Um, so, you know, if you buy it from 1995, it may work. 2000, maybe a totally different sequence of uh, programming software, um, hardware, whatever. But uh, either way, we're going to put the uh, Phoenix on there. See if we could do it. If we have to drill, we got that ready for it all today. Uh, we got a bunch of scopes ready to go, and we'll be checking in throughout the day and uh, putting a couple pictures in and showing you what we're against. See you a little later. All right, guys, so here's what we got here, Canon gun safe. Uh, it's got the NL lock. Um, right now it's on timeout. It's not responding. We do have a valid code. Uh, unfortunately, it's not working. So we're going to try that one more time, and then we're going to drill it and uh, repair it from there. So we'll give this one more time. We have a valid code. So... I'll just try that one more time. We've tried it three times. He's obviously tried it many times. Uh, you know, sometimes the Chinese electronics, they just don't last or don't work very well for very long. So we'll try it one more time. We have the Phoenix Universal Keypad. And we'll give it one more try. And then if not, we will re replace it. We'll drill it open and replace it. going to click open we got the code zero six zero nine two we're going to do a quick quick dial yeah that's going to be failure to open again so we're going to be drilling this one. Um, we did look in the scope. We could even probably look right through here. And that is going to be uh, the regular lock body, the full size, which is very rare. 
Um, it's usually one of the more robust ones. You could tell by the track down there, if you could see that way down in the bottom. There's actually the track. It's like the little circle. So that indicates that it's going to be the full-size bottle. So, all right, we're going to get going now. We'll be back as soon as we can. Thanks. Trying to do this one-handed. Sorry, guys. So this is the test long scope we all love and admire. You can see down there, this is right through the spindle hole. Um, so that is the raced way for the full size lock body. So we're just going to drill that and uh, replace it with the one he was provided. We'll be back. Morning guys, it's Jeff with HKS Systems. Just letting you know, we are in Lake Flynn. Um, this is the model we had in there. Uh, customer had the code, didn't work though. Yes, we are changing the code. Uh, we drilled it. Um, we're going to be replacing it with a new one. Everything went pretty well. Uh, there was an issue. I don't know if it had a broken foot, which is very common for these. It's sort of a plunger system. Uh, I was able to get uh, the solenoid apart right away. First hole wouldn't budge. I ended up having to enlarge it from a 3 16 to a quarter to a 5 16 which I haven't used in probably 10 years. Um, finally, it gave way. Uh, I really, really had to go to town, but there was nothing left there. And I know I was right on my money because I could see everything. I could see the plunger. I could see all the wires coming out of it. Um, we ended up just uh, drilling it out. And now we're going to be replacing it with this nice quality half lock um, that's customer supplied so there isn't a warranty on that so it's not my problem it will fail i could almost guarantee it but uh, we'll be fixing that up for them and repairing it if you need gun safes opened serviced or repaired or upgraded please give us a call hks systems lock and safe 847-204-7046 um, we were able to use our scopes uh, pretty small hole other than the one um, the only downside is one of them got chipped trying to pry that solenoid back and the thing literally flung up hit my number one scope which is the Olympus 70 millimeter 70 degree uh, yeah so I'm losing money on this one thousand dollar scope on a $350 opening crap but that's how the world is. That's how the lock trade is as well. So um, I do have others. Obviously, I always have others, but uh, that really sucks. So anyways, if you need this service, please give us a call. HKS Systems Lock and Safe, 847-204-7046. Thanks. Hey, guys. Jeff with HKS Systems just showing you. Uh, this is the inside of the safe for the uh, safe we just drilled. You can tell when these are cheap. Bottom bolts are additional charge. No bottom bolts whatsoever, just side bolts. Um, stationary on that side. Five, four bolts on that. So, not so great of a safe, but hey, it is what it is. Anyways, if you need service, give us a call. Thanks. All right, guys, we are all set. Look at that. Don't even, never even knew I was here other than it's opened and repaired. Um... Just put a new uh, lock system in there, new keypad, reset the combo, uh, patch the holes, tighten everything up, give it the once over, and we are good to go. If you need service, give us a call, 847-204-7046, HKS Systems, lock and safe. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. 